In this video, I'm going to take a few minutes and just show you the spot removal brush in Camera Raw. It's a very powerful tool that I think you'll use a lot. I'm going to press the Z key to zoom, and then I'm just going to click and scroll to the right. Then if I hold my space bar, I can pan around on the face. Now her freckles are just part of her. I wouldn't do anything with those. But temporary things like acne are perfect for the removal brush tool. Its shortcut is the letter B, or you can click its icon over here on the right side that looks like a Band-Aid. In the, in the settings for this tool, you can either use it to heal or to clone from another area. They're very similar, and I'll show you what both of those do. And here you can adjust the size of the brush. Now the shortcut key for that is the right brackets key. You can make the brush bigger by using the right brackets key. The left bracket key will make it smaller. Then if uh, you can feather the edge of the brush with this slider, the shortcut key for that is holding the shift key while you use the two brackets keys. And then you can adjust the opacity of the brush right here. You have a visualize spots check mark box, which gives you this kind of a view. This doesn't really help me much, but uh, you can see what's happening here. And then the overlay, I'll show you that in a minute. So let me show you how it works. I'm going to use the brush with the feather turned up quite a ways. I think the size is about enough there to cover the blemish. Now I'm going to zoom out and show you what it did. So it used this area to, to heal, and then this area is the area that it's pulling from to heal. And you can grab in the middle of that and move it around. I'm just going to move it to another place on her face. That looks like it will blend in well. That will work. Now I'll do the same over here. I'll paint on this one. And it's pulled from by her nose. I think, uh, again, I'll, I'll use another area of her face to heal. Then you can turn the overlay off to see how that has done. I'll, I'll zoom in again and we can take a closer look. Space bar to bring in the hand tool and, and pan around. So I've turned the overlay back on. I'll click this one to activate it so you can see. And then I'll just move it to like another place on her face and just try and find a spot. I think that looks about right, right there. Command or Control Zero will fit the image into the window. And there you can see how that is, has worked. I can then go ahead and open it up in Photoshop with those settings. Now let's go back and talk about the clone tool. The clone tool is just like the other, the heel tool, but it works the opposite way. The first thing that you do is you go to a place on the skin where you wish to clone from, hold down your Option or your Alt key, and then click where you wish to clone from, and then go Paint where you wish to clone to, and it will heal. Let's do that again. We'll go down and hold our Option or Alt key and click. And then we'll go over and paint. And that spot is healed as well.